Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to set up or capture uh, using OBS and a capture card your PlayStation 2. Uh, more specifically, a Power Region, Power Region, Power Region PlayStation 2. Um, the reason I say Power Region is because there is an extra step to setting up your Power Region PlayStation 2 with OBS. But don't worry, we'll go over that. And if you don't have a Power Region 2 PlayStation 2, uh, you can still use this tutorial as this covers the basics on how to connect any component video to your capture card. But first off, you're going to need a capture card that actually captures component. Uh, I'm currently using the Razer Ripsaw. And you're also going to need this cable that should be appearing on the screen right now. Um, hopefully it's either a JPEG or a PNG, but you're going to need to plug this end into the capture card and this end into your PlayStation 2 or component device. Now, well, we're going to head over to OBS, so welcome everybody to the OBS. Um, so in OBS, we're going to go to a video capture device because we need a new one. And we're going to select either create a new one, but I already have one existing. Get rid of the capture that. Okay, well, it's there now. Let's, uh, let's remove that. So uh, once again, we're selecting video capture device. Okay. But I already have one set up. It should look like something like this. And if I go over here, so you can see it this time. So select the device, that's going to be your capture card. Mine's the Razer Ripshaw. And you're going to want to configure video because by default it sets to HDMI. And we want to capture component. So we're going to hit configure video. And I'll bring it down here so you can see it. This is what it should look like. Actually, bring it over here. This is what it should look like. Got AV input video decoder, video prop amp, razor, capture card, or whatever capture card you're using. And we want to come over to video input and we want to select component video in. Hit apply. Okay. And now we have this pop up. Just in case you can't see it, signal output out of range. So we're going to have to come back over here. And instead of having device default, we're going to use custom. And we're going to go 725.576. And you can see it's already bringing up the PlayStation. Hit close that. Uh, yes, save changes. And then I'm just going to do some quick editing here. Let's get rid of that. I already have a PlayStation 2 turned on because this is the second time to try to make this video. There we go. So next step, uh, after that random cut, you want to plug in your PlayStation 2 into a TV or monitor that actually has component uh, in. You want to go into system configuration. So once in system configuration, you want to go to component video. Now, by default, it won't be set to this. It's going to be set to RGB. And because it's set to RGB, it won't output to the capture card, you need to set it to this for um, this YCB plus PVC plus slash prepare PR. Select that, go back, turn off your PlayStation or unplug the component cable and plug in the capture component cable into your capture card and that will work. I just saved you several hours of hard work because there were no fucking video tutorials on this or text tutorials on this. So um, if you were having this problem trying to capture a PlayStation 2 from the power region, there you go. So please like the video, comment below and subscribe. But um, now you'll be able to play your PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games. If the PlayStation 1 laser was working, if not, then you're gonna have to clean that bitch out. The PlayStation 2, the laser that reached the PlayStation 1. I'm just gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.